Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to build up this alien model from the Alien Movie franchise. This is an injection model plastic kit all the way from China. This is the huge display base it comes with. The figure itself which stands on top of this comes in several pieces. This is the head and torso. In this bag we have the legs plus all the accessories which include the pipes on the back the tail and the inner mouth which shoots out and kills its victims. Thankfully we have loads of spare because these are small and very easily lost. These are the pipe for the display base itself. Wrapped up very carefully in this bag are the arms. Because the fingers are so long and small they are easily broken. In fact, they are put through the bag and don't want to come out. Right, first things first, I cut off the sprue tabs. Then I start gluing on the accessories to the base. Here I'm using modelling cement. I soon try other glues and eventually set them on super glue as this modelling cement doesn't work very well with this type of plastic. Once all the parts have been added, I then glue the head to the torso. Because this model attaches to the base in a very specific way, I can't glue the limbs on first. I have to start with one, see how it fits, then add the next one. As you can see from here, I move on to the super glue, and this idea is much better. I have to try and attach the leg to the model and the base at the same time. I do exactly the same thing with the right arm by attaching it to the model and the base at the same time. arm has a sprue tab sticking out which needs removing first. Thankfully with this arm it only sticks to the model so there's only one point of contact. And now I cut off a couple of the large pipe for the back. And I also give them a clean up. Unfortunately, 
definitely by this point I ran out of super glue so I tried this other stuff instead this took way too long to set so I moved on to super glue again tail came in two sections and has to be glued on in a specific way. This takes a bit of trial and error. And before gluing both parts of the tail together, I figured it would be best putting the end piece on first. Once the glue set, I also glue the tip of the tail to the base as well, so it's got two points of contact, so it'll be more stable. And here's the completed model. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty impressed with it. Right, it's time to pin it on the primer. And for the base coat of the alien I just use black. Next I gave the alien a grey dry brush, this brings out all the highlights. Here you can see what different dry brushing can make. I'm now adding a blue wash to sink into all the recesses and give this alien a bit more definition. Now he's looking much better. And now to move on to the base, I paint this in off white colour. And now to give it a white dry brush to bring out the highlights. Now to blend that all in with a black wash. And now to start painting the details. I start by painting the screws at the bottom in bone white. I give them a wash with a sepia colour. The 
before I moved on to some white dry brushing for the highlight. For the smaller pipes I painted them a copper colour. For the larger ones I've painted them a dark grey. And for the alien piping on both sides I've painted that blue. And the remaining pipe for painted silver. And then I give the pipes and the skull to once over with a black wash. Followed by a white dry brush over the whole base. To add additional detail to the base I use a variety of weathering powders. This will give it the effect of dried dirt. Now it's time to seal it all in with a matte sealer. The dome of the head is supposed to be shiny, so use the satin varnish and brush it on. And now it's finished. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if I can do it, so can you.